How is everyone doing today? Welcome to Iron Man episode number five. We got some big plans for this episode. Big, big plans. We got a couple more uh, days of our Thanksgiving break here, and it is late at night right now. So once I do a little bit of herb lore, get some uh, herbs out of my bank, I plan to go to the green dragons in the wilderness to, you know, try to get some green dragon hides and some dragon bones for prayer. Uh, we're going to ectofunctus all of the bones that we get, depending on how many we get, and then we're also going to raise our crafting with the hides. Uh, we're going to do a mix between dragon hides and uh, battle stabs to get our crafting level up. Because ideally we want 75 crafting for slayer rings, but we're not going to get that high. We really just need to get, and I forget the level, I'm sorry, 66 uh, crafting for blue dragon hide van braces. Because we have been dropping a lot of hard clues because we don't have these van braces. I know they drop from brutal blue dragons and everything, but those are just a pain in the ass to kill. Hopefully we can get the 71 crafting again for the body. We already have chaps, so body ideally, but primary goal is the blue dragon hide van braces. Future goal is the slayer ring at 75 crafting. Uh, in addition to green dragons and crafting, we are also going to try to get the fighter torso this episode. Should only take a couple hours there. Probably throw in a couple more quests and, of course, get our slayer level up a bit more and finish our uh, slayer helmet that we... Didn't quite finish last episode due to some unfortunate unfortunate uh, lack of points, but we're definitely going to finish it this time. So let's get started. Alright, about to do our first Barrows chest on this account. Don't think I'll be doing it anytime soon consistently because this actually was a little difficult to do. I mean, Ivan's staff is hitting pretty damn well, it's just I don't really have the amount of prayer points or a good range weapon for Aram, or really just the defense to withstand any of the brothers' attacks, but uh, let's see what we get for our first uh, barrel's chest. Shit. What the fuck? Five hours later. Finally. And, yeah, buddy. Let's go do some more Slayer. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Third H, third H, third H. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop! Um, that's kind of cool, I guess. And there's 69 attack, followed by 85 combat. And... You might wonder why I'm recording that. Well, that's because we don't have to go back to Zanaris anymore for a new Slayer task. We can just get it from Neve, who is right outside of the Slayer Cave. So it's going to make traveling a lot easier, and I can stop bringing my Draymon staff everywhere. And in addition, after this task is complete, we will have enough Slayer points to upgrade our Black Mask to a Slayer Helm. So stick tuned for that one. Okay, so we now have over 400 points. Let's buy Malevolent Slayer Helmet. Confirm. Sweet. Now, if I remember correctly, just put everything together. Nose pig, face mask, earmuff, spiny helmet, enchanted gem, and a black mask in your inventory in order to construct the Slayer. Oh, I have the nose pig on. Okay. So let's try that again. Nice. That definitely looks awesome. And let's get our first task from Neve. What's it gonna be? 20 black dragons. Um, considering brutal blacks, don't have enough prayer pots for that right now. We'll, we'll think about that for a little while. Cool. Family quest quest. Easy, let's get some tears. There is the dig site quest complete. Ooh, 56 mining, cool. Uh, we need a couple of quests. I forgot about these for desert treasure, so... Gotta go knock those out. Old stronghold. Only did it for the quest points, though. Oh, and desert treasure completion, but yeah. Look at that. They're rewarding me for making history. I make history every single day. God. The Fremenic... Isles. 
is complete. Wasn't too terribly hard of a quest, and we got pretty much the best in slot helmet, at least for a long time. We're making some major gains this episode. We got an almost best in slot top, we got a best in slot slayer helm, that needs to be imbued by the way, but we'll get to that later. And now we got the helmet of net is not, working on barrows gloves, oh jeez, we're making hella gains this episode, let's keep going. I came here to get some willow seeds because, you know, willow seeds are a common drop here at the winter tot. In order to plant them, cut the branches off, and use them for enlightened journey, which will let me complete a bunch of diaries. I am currently sitting at, and let me pull it up right here, KCWT. I am sitting at 80 winter tot kills, and I still do not have any willow seeds. Hmm. But I do have three uh, Pyromancer pieces, so what the hell is wrong with this minigame right now? Okay, easy. I already have those. And a blue beret. Okay. And an adamant heraldic helmet. Fantastic. All right, we got a couple things to go over right now. Uh, I've been getting a couple new computer pieces, parts, for say. Uh, mostly, I upgraded to three 4K monitors, but in the process of all this resolution scaling and new parts and whatnot, uh, my videos kind of got a little messed up for the last week or so. So I haven't really been able to record anything, per se, but let's quickly go over everything that we went through. Um, well, first of all, we went to Winter Tot to get Willow Seeds. One Willow Seed, that's all I need is one Willow Seed, and it's a common drop from Winter Tot. It's like 1 in 15, 1 in 20. We have killed 225 Winter Tots and still do not have a damn Willow Seed. We have 8 Maple Seeds, 4 U Seeds, 9 Banana Tree Seeds, we got 18 Ranars. 31 snap like we're getting anything you can even think of except for the willow seed and i only need one that's the sad thing i only need one when i wasn't doing winter tot i was chopping down yew trees kind of afk like so that way i can play some other games and whatnot because winter tot gets kind of boring after a while and uh <laughs> we <laughs> we got the beaver pet pet number two on the iron man we get the beaver pet and I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even aiming for the pet. Wasn't even paying attention at all. Chopping down yew trees while playing Overwatch. And we get the beaver pet. Like, what in the hell? What in the hell? Uh, we got Pyromancer gloves, top, and the Bruma torch. We've actually gotten two torches and four gloves. And we've traded in the extras for more loot crates to try to get more willow seeds. But still have failed at that. Um... Winter Tot's gotten us about 200k. They've gotten us a ton of gems, bunch of sharks, bunch of swordfish, 162 burnt pages. Like, Winter Tot's actually doing us pretty good right now for money. And, oh, most definitely, fire making. Fire making is now our highest skill at 86. I only planned to do Winter Tot for like, oh, 5, 10 kills. Willow seeds are a common drop. No, Willow seeds are the rarest freaking drop there at winter tot at least for my account it is and i even have a friend that's almost 100 kill count and he hasn't gotten willow seeds and another friend who's like 55 kill count and she hasn't gotten willow seeds like what the hell is happening right now anyways i think we're all caught up there we got the beaver pet we got the winter tot kc that's pretty much all we've done for the last week or so while i've been doing computer upgrades so Going back to Winter Tot tonight. Hopefully we'll get our Willow Seeds, but that's about it. Keeping you guys up to date. Holy shit, Beaver Pet, though. I, I still can't believe it. I'm done! I got a Willow Seed! Dragon Axe, you're not done yet. It took 242 kills! <laughs> Make a Reddit post and cry. It took me I 11. Heard. Hey, how about you shut the fuck up there, Jerry? It took me 242. <laughs> took me a whole week. A whole week? 15 minutes. No, no, make sure you get Jerry, that basket Jerry, of Jerry, apples. Jerry, oh, Jerry, 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 shut the fuck up. Okay? <laughs>
Okay, so, little something to go over. We're going to be ending the episode quite a bit earlier than we normally do. Uh, reason for that is I'm still kind of in the process of upgrading my computer. Um, I have a 1TB M.2 hard drive that I'm about to install, and I'm going to take out my SSD and whatnot, so I don't know if I'm going to be losing any files, so I'm just going to upload everything I have right now just to be safe and install the new hard drive and start clean again. But anyways, we've just been doing some agility while we take care of some other things out in the background want to get to 75 agility however agility is freaking boring and that's gonna take a while but after we're done with this we're gonna be doing some quests in the start of episode 6 go back to Slayer and whatnot but all in all with how short episode 5 is we actually made some major gains though we got the fighter torso we got the malevolent Slayer helmet we got the helm of nay it's not and obviously we just got 63 agility like, it's, it's been a pretty productive episode, I'm not gonna lie, with how short it is and how much we did, it's been pretty nice. So, uh, working on getting the full grace wall outfit since we've only been running around with the hood and the top since the beginning of time. At least I want to get, I want to get at least the pants, and maybe the cape too. I don't really care much about the boots, because boots of lightness and gloves or whatever and whatnot, but we're, we're gonna do some quests after this. Hopefully finish Recipe for Disaster, Legend's Quest, Shallow Village, and whatnot. So, let's check our bank value now. Because of all those winter top kills, we are sitting at exactly, no, of course not 100% exactly, but pretty much exactly 20 mil bank value right now. Just scroll through it so that way you can see all of it. I do need to go cook the rest of my lobsters now that I see that. Thanks, winter top. We did all of our dragon bones. We got some jewelry. Got 2,500 cannonballs. But yeah, Winter Tot. Holy hell, Winter Tot was nice to us because we did that for 242 kills, I think. Yeah, we're looking pretty good there. Got 107 prayer pots, so we're good there. We got four pieces of the Pyromancer and greatest addition, the Beaver Pet. Two pets on the Iron Man. Eventually, when we start doing construction and we build our house and we have a nice looking house, uh, I'm pretty sure you can have all of your pets just running around your house. So eventually I would like to fill my house up with as many pets as uh, we can get together and we'll go from there. But right now we have two and that's already more than my main. My main just has a cow fight princess, which is a pretty cool pet by the way, but I don't have a second pet. So now my squirrel has a friend. So that's pretty cool. Um, green dragon hides. Yeah, we didn't do very much of that, but I do need to keep doing that. Got some maple seeds, got some U seeds from Winter Tot, so farming will be easier once we get high enough level for that. But for now, that is it for episode 5. Gonna be making some serious gains for episode 6, so stay tuned for that, because we will have a bigger hard drive. Alright, see you guys later. Bye bye.